All right, it is Sunday dinner time, dinner time. We've done a bunch of sweets today. So now we need something savory that's gonna stick to our bones. I'm not in the mood to make a big old four course meal today. We're gonna make something easy. We're gonna make white chicken enchiladas. Had Mexican yesterday. I want some more Mexican today because you can't ever go wrong. So what I've got is first off, my oven preheating to 400 degrees, and I got a nine by 13 pan waiting for me on the bar. On my stove and my pan, a pan on my stove, I said that backwards, didn't I? I have six tablespoons of butter melting in my pan on medium high heat. We're gonna make a roux. We're gonna make our own sauce. Yes, sir, we are, and it's gonna be tasty too. To this, when says all this butter gets melted, I'm gonna add six tablespoons of flour. I'm using all purpose, because, not all purpose, scratch that. I'm using self-rising, because I'm a self-rising type of lady. It's easier. And I'm all about easiness. And this is real butter, y'all. There's no margarine in this. Sometimes I use margarine, but I'll be honest, 90% of the time, it's real butter up in this house. But if I do use margarine, I tell you. So let me grab my flour. So six tablespoons of butter. We're gonna add six tablespoons of self-rising flour. We're gonna make a roux. So let's do this. Got one, two. I need old Carly girl here today counting for Mama. Alright. We'll stir this up and get it to the consistency we want. How about that? We're gonna make a paste. And then we're gonna add some yummy chicken broth. And I'm using homemade chicken broth. And I'll tell you why. I boiled four large chicken breasts this morning to put in this, and I shredded it. And I kept my juice because why not? It's good, and I don't have to buy any. So once my paste, see how this is getting thick? I'm gonna cook it for about a minute to get the flour taste out of it. Then we're gonna add some uh, chicken broth to this, y'all. So let's let her cook and get happy for a minute. All right, here's our gooder, our gooder, huh. our butter and flour, goody goodness. How about that? I've got it just the way I want it. So I'm gonna add four cups of chicken broth. What I'm gonna do, this is my two cup measuring cup. I'm just gonna take it over here to my chicken broth and just add it in here, just like that. The chicken's stuck in the bottom of it. I'm gonna get it out and use it. Why not? And yes, my hands are clean. So we're gonna cook this on medium heat till it gets thick. This smells really good. I'm gonna add some seasonings to this. I'm gonna add some salt, however much as you want. I'm gonna add some pepper. And I'm gonna grab my garlic powder and my minced onion up here and add that to it. All right, teaspoon or however much you want of garlic powder, teaspoon or however much you want of minced onion, or you can use the real deal Lucille, I don't care. So let's mix her up. It's a mixy mixy, then we're gonna add some more stuff to it. Then we're gonna build our enchiladas and bake them. We're excited about this, because we love these. It's already getting thick, can you tell? Mm-mm-mm. All right, we're gonna cook this for about another minute. Then we're gonna add some more stuff to it. We've got her cooked down and she's thick, just like gravy. See that? It's good too, because I tasted of it. Now we're gonna add two cups of sour cream. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Then we're gonna add one four ounce can of green chilies, diced green chilies. If you want more, Use more. I'm just using what works for us. Make it, make it your own because I am. Now let's mix this up. Oh, if y'all could smell this, this smells so good. And it's a different take on enchiladas too. Mm. Now we're gonna cook this for another minute. 
All right, Matt and I have tasted this and we added something to it. You know me and Pioneer Woman, Chipotle Ranch. I put this in my tacos. We just put this in our sauce. I did a teaspoon and it's great. Hubby, is this sauce good? Pretty damn good. Come from the horse's mouth right there. So we're gonna let this cook on low for about five minutes. And while that's doing that, we're gonna move to the bar and we're gonna build our enchiladas. Our sauce is done. I wanted to show you this real quick before I built our enchiladas. Let me pick this pan up because it's not hot. The, the wood handle's not hot. See that? That's the perfect white gravy for your enchiladas. You seen how easy that was? Oh my goodness. What I'm gonna do, I mean, hold on a minute. I'm gonna get my nine by 13 pan and I'm not greasing it. And I'm just gonna get me a ladle full Pour it in the bottom of my pan like glue and just swish it around. My gosh, if y'all can smell this, it smells so good. Now, let's move over here and build these puppies. In my bowl, I have four large chicken breasts that I have boiled on the stove and I've let them cool, then I shredded them. To this, I'm gonna add two cups of Monterey Jack cheese. Found this at Myers. I'm just gonna take my hands, yes, they're clean. I'm just gonna mix it up just like that in my bowl. Easy. Man, y'all can smell my kitchen. I smell like El Mazelon in here today, y'all. And you Kentucky folks know what I'm talking about when I say El Maz. All right, we got that mixed up. I'm gonna take me a flour tortilla and just some in my hand. There's no spices in this because our flavor is in our mixture on top. Fill it, just like that. Full of chicken and Monterey Jack cheese. Got it folded, I'm gonna place it seam side down, just like that in my casserole dish. Let's do one more. I made a big batch, so I might have to have two pans because we're, we're a big family and we like to eat. There we go. Got another one. Layer down. And I bought the large flour tortillas. So there's two. Let me finish, finish filling it up and we'll put some sauce on it. Got six large tortillas. Filled, see that? Filled full of chicken and Monterey Jack cheese. This is all I have left in my bowl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna spread it over my mixture because there's no sense of rolling another one for one pan. And what's extra chicken? Good stuff. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Here's our sauce. And I'm gonna pour it over it just like this. Can y'all see? I'm gonna start on one end. I'm gonna work my way over to the other end. Wow. This smells amazing. Got to get all the scrapes off the bottom of it because that's the best part. Grab me a spoon. I'm just going to spread it out all over it. You smell this? Yeah, I'm dying for it. Let's go. <laughs> you hear the husband? There we go. Got all of our sauce over this. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to top it with a little cheese, about a cup, a sharp cheddar. We're going to put Reynolds wrap over it. And we're gonna bake it on a 400 degree oven covered for 30 minutes, y'all. I cannot wait to see the end result of this, let alone watch Matt taste this because he is walking the floor, we're ready for it. All right, I'm gonna cover her up, throw her in the oven, 350, 30 minutes. All right, we have this out of the oven. I swear she weighs 20 pounds. Check her out. I pulled the Reynolds rock, blah, 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 blah. I pulled the Reynolds wrap off at 25 minutes. I put it on broil for the last couple minutes just to get it nice and toasty. We're gonna cut a piece and I'm probably gonna burn myself again. But if y'all could smell this, you'd wanna try it too. I'm gonna start down here on the end. Ugh. Oh my heaven's sakes, this looks so good. And I love a good creamy sauce. I can get it out. Oh my word. Do y'all see this? Mmm. I gotta get a spoon with get some sauce in it and we're gonna try her out. I'm about ready to run out of time. Shoot. Y'all know what this is? White chicken cheese lasagna enchiladas. It's white chicken enchiladas, not lasagna. Do not ask me where I got that at, because I don't know. Cheers. Let's go by my mouth. This is going in the next cookbook. Holy smokies, this is delicious. Go make y'all some. My Lord, that's, mm, my tongue is happy. 
I'm going to eat some more and I'm going to go share with the family.